So today is a good day. Um, since I've been back from Worlds, I've been so busy. Mercy's kept me so busy. So we've had loads of interviews. So today we're interviewing, let me say this right, Shi Heng Yi. He is a Shaolin master. And so, that, I mean, I'm, this is super interesting to me. I'm going to be doing an interview with him. And then my good friend, Dan Hitkiss, is going to be coming. With Dan's been on the channel once or twice before. Dan Hitkiss is the strongest coach in the world. And the reason he's got the strongest coach in the world title is because he coaches Tom and Luke Stoltman, and Tom just won World Strongest Man. That makes Dan the strongest coach in the world. So Dan's coming to the studio. He lives about an hour and a half away, um, and he wants to some advice on setting up podcasts, YouTube channels, all that kind of stuff. So I think we can help him. I might have some equipment for him as well. And uh, I'm excited because. Um, one, Dan's going to be buzzing off the fact that I was at Worlds and he'll want to know what it was like. Um, and two, I know Dan's life has sort of changed a little bit since Tom won. And now he's got the task of getting Luke the title as well. And I know Luke's super hungry for that. So just chatting to Luke about that, it's going to be re uh, to Dan about that, it's going to be really cool. Guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment down below. Um, what sort of videos do you want to see? Let us know what kind of videos you want to see from Mulligan Brothers and what we're up to. We're back in the gym training, so that's that's kind of interesting. That means we can go up to the Stoltmans and do some training with them. That's always fun. Um, but what else do you want to see from us? Um, I'm interested to know. Um, business, filmmaking, um, I don't know. What do you want to see? And then go follow me on Instagram, at Jordan Mulligan Brother. Oh, this is an announcement at William Mulligan Brother and at Luke Mulligan Brother. So Luke has just jumped onto Instagram. Go give him a follow. He hasn't posted anything yet, but we've got a big announcement coming up soon. Something very fun that we're, we're going to be shooting. Um, so yeah, give us a follow, say subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's get into the day. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust you, my friend or my fault. I'm a yeah, give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one understands me. I'm gonna artist silly on block, baby. Hello. Hi. Can you can you hear me okay? I can hear you quite good, yes. Fantastic. So. I guess we'll start with, for those who don't know, just introduce yourself and what you do. I think we did, yeah. I can hear your audio now. Um, let me have a look. Yeah, yours is your is mine frozen for you as well. Oh, we've lost connection. I think. Okay, let me try and so re just try and restart it. Yeah, do you want to just uh, email and just really apologise and just say we're really, really sorry, we're not sure what's happening. Um... Um, that didn't go too well, so unfortunately for some reason the internet's dropping out here, so really frustrating, really sorry um, for messing the interview up, but we've got him booked in for next Friday. Next Friday. Really nice guy. We had a brief conversation, and uh, we will pick it up. And and the thing is, is after just the first two questions, I don't know about you, Mercy, but I was really into it. So I'm really like I'm really pissed off that I couldn't finish it off. Um, but I'm excited to get it done, and I think there's some really good lessons there. Very excited. And we've got a cool story, and yeah, um, like talking about like just talking about like the Shaolin way and. Um, yeah, it's just freaking cool. Anyway, Dan's gonna be here in a bit. So I've got some paperwork and admin to do. And Will's now gonna talk about something as well. So over to Will. What are we talking about? That makes it not. not what are you working on? I'm just working on a Conor McGregor thumbnail because I'm making a Conor McGregor video. And that is it. Oh, Will's working on a project. Are we allowed to talk about it? The Seven Tenets? Yeah. 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 He's working on a project for 
like for Conor McGregor as a seventh tenor. So I'm going to be doing the voiceover. William's written the whole piece and directed the piece. Um, and if you're a Conor McGregor fan, you're going to love it. It's really freaking cool. Um, hopefully Conor will see it. I do work, I swear. Like this looks like I've not been working today, but um, let's have my lunch quickly. Um, the internet is still down in the building, which is really rubbish for us that we operate on the internet. So um, what am I doing instead? I've got loads of like paperwork to get through, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I can't actually back any of this up because I can't get onto the server now, so I've kind of been shut off from that kind of work. But, um, Will, we had a project, the Conor McGregor project I was gonna do some voiceover for, right? Yes, yeah. So I might have to do that. So Dan, Dan should be here in a minute. Um, which I'm excited about now because I haven't got anything else to do, so. It'll be cool to get down here. Um, it's actually my birthday tomorrow. I keep forgetting. It's my birthday tomorrow. I feel like Will's got something good planned for me. Not planned, but I'm, I'm thinking of I'm scheming. What are you going to do for me? Uh, just get you as much food as I can throughout the day. Nice food from everywhere and anywhere. Dan's, it, Dan's on the phone, so let's have a look to Dan. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. I'm parked outside the garage next to your place. When I say parked, I've stopped on the road. <laughs> Let me come out here. I'll, I'll come out and get you in, yeah? See you, sir. Okay, so Dan's here. That's good. This kind of space, but I do want to start getting back into strongman training. Uh, um, get a log. A log. Like if you're getting one thing. Yeah, I could do a lot. I could fit a log for sure. Because then you can sort of train for axle with a normal bar. Okay. Uh, and some bands. Yeah. Yeah, log and bands. And I want to get well. I want to get my log up, so a log would help. And I, I'm trying to do the Tom and Luke, so I want to do stones <laughs> as well. So. The sandbag is a hundred and a one two five, and I yeah. want to, I want to hit a one eighty stone. So I've hit a one sixty before, but um, and it was fairly, it was fairly comfortable. Like I feel like I probably had one seventy in a tank. Um, I'd, if you can do like five reps with the one twenty five sandbag, yeah, you'd be all right. Because okay. then once you like tack it up, and stones are easier to lift than yeah. sandbag. So you think I, I can train enough to get to 180 with just those two sandbags? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, well there we go. Shit, this place is mad. Yeah, it's cool. It's, cool. it's a kind cool. of depend. So the podcast we're talking about that you've done already. Yeah. Zoom calls, right? Yeah. Um, that's a good start. Like it is a really good start. Yeah, I sort of half don't want to do it. Right. Okay. So if I'm going to do it, I want to do it like. Properly. Okay. Yeah. That's my other balloon. Okay, so do you wanna know do you wanna walk talk through setup first? Like what you yeah. do with a setup? And then Luke and Will are by far the best to talk about like YouTube, tags, statistics, all yeah. load rate. All the stuff that makes no sense. All the that make no sense, yeah. And these guys are easy, so Sam. yeah. Um I'm trying to think where all the mics are. This is our cinema room. Slightly obsessive, yeah, but so like this has got like all the things like laid out. Sure. Yeah, like Tom. This was written a few months ago. Tom and Luke one and two. That was the the pipe dream. Yeah. It that, was f close. It was so close. Yeah. Like Luke. Yeah. I said that to him this morning. I mean, podium was like yeah. like that. Um, that's one thing I was gonna say to you is like, how do they fix the?
But, um, okay, so let's show you a, set a setup for a podcast. So what I want to do, if I can, or as much as I can, is visit the people yeah. on podcasts. That would be, yeah, I think so. That would be perfect, you know. As long yeah. as the mics are close to the close to the body. So the mic's pretty good, and the thing that got me with it, I can't remember the name, but when it's like that, you can set it to get equal pickup from either side. Oh, so you can put it in the middle. Yeah. But then I'm not really sure how it all affects the sound. It's, it will affect it. So it's it's all based on how close you are to it. Okay. So if if I mean that, that's not that far away from both of us, so it would probably pick up really nice audio. But anything further than that, and you definitely need two. Yeah. Yeah, and and ideally two would be better. But I, I think if it can do that, then. So it's like an omnidirectional kind of thing. Yeah, so it's got the, the shapes on it. So, and a lot of it's down to like a mobile phone being, if the mobile phone's on the table, it will get a bit of a disruption on the mic. So yeah. you, no mobile phones. Um, if there's an aircon system, yeah. like running in the background, it's gonna, especially if you're doing, that's why the really close, you can turn the gain down on it. Yeah, and the, so the closer you are, you can the less and less the gain can be, which means that it's going to pick up less and less of the surrounding noise. Okay. So if you sense. put it in the middle, you have to just boost the gain a little bit, which is fine. But if it's a really noisy area, then, then it's going to pick up all the. Yeah, so you want to get like a nice tight closed in space um, where there's no like ambient noise, yeah. and that will work fine. Um, but it is like being particular about making sure it's nice and quiet, which yeah. is, it's like a, it's a little bit crap to do to somebody, especially you meeting them like, right, can we just turn this off? Can we, like you have to be a little bit particular at the start. Yeah. But it's definitely worth it. We'll just do a test now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, we'll start this one. Are you rolling one? Yeah. Okay, and sync. Okay, uh, back on the test for um, World's Strongest Coach podcast with Dan Kiss. And Luke Morgan. Luke Morgan's here. Um, so, if you did come to Worlds, because Luke's never been on a plane before in his I, life. I've flew in a plane. He's flown a plane, but he's never been a passenger. Been the passenger. Yeah. That's yeah, magic. it's cool. Yeah. 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 What are you most excited for to go to Worlds for? I mean, apart from like filmmaking, uh, first of all, the crowds. Like, yeah. And, like, you know, the interaction of like, when like someone hits a lift up, I would imagine that's quite the same, right? Yeah, have you been to any strongman show? No. Yeah, so they are mental. Garden. Like, it's such a buzz to like, just be around. Yeah. Like, walk out, because you're focused on what's going on, mm forbid you forget that there's a giant crowd yeah, yeah and then when something cool happens you're just like covered in sound like yeah. it's a weird feeling i mean for you i can't even imagine like so you i we have an invested interest for the film obviously um and like tom and luke are friends so it's cool to see but like your work's in them yeah so, so like when they do something it's like you're you're getting that as well like yeah, that must so be my, so mental my whole year went into like a week. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, it's stressful. Yeah. But oh, it, I, it's amazing. Trust me, I was, it was, yeah. I was very emotional. I mean, people have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did you feel when Tom went, like, were you, how were you watching it? Uh, so we had someone filming it, but oh. they're like 80. Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he filmed his belly instead of the stone room. <laughs> And then we told him to turn the camera around and he just turned it around. So we were then looking at his face. <laughs> um, and we heard them say, like, Brian Shaw, four times world's strongest man. And we're like, well, that's not five. So oh, that means yeah. Tom won. And you know what? Like, I can't wait to put a TV show because I was like, there's so much that goes into it. But. Uh Like, I can't wait for you to be out there next year. Like, I, I'm gonna be a full on spectator. And, cause I felt bad, like, especially at the 
But um, yeah, it's going to be awesome seeing you working with them whilst they're there. It's going to be on it. It's going to be another level. It's, it's going to be absolute edge to it. You know, me, both um, Yeah, because everyone else pretty much had somebody, like a coach there, and yeah. somebody else had helping with them. How long do you think Tom can be the base of the best in the world? Do you think he could make it plus five? Yeah, I think so long as he wants to, yeah. then he can do. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just really good at strongman. Yeah. Um, I think next year, the way Luke's already talking about it, mm -hmm. it's going to be. I mean, we might have a salt and stone off for the. Honestly, party. right. Let's let's cut that there. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, well, you support club, or you know, when it's someone you've got like an invested interest in. Yeah. It's just nuts. Like it was so ridiculous. Well, you saw on Luke's um, thing he posted yesterday. Like, it's not just coaching. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, pretty invested in what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right, okay. So, um, can we just grab a roto light, Will? What's mm -hmm. rolling? Rolling? So, welcome to the World's Strongest Coach podcast. Privilege, mate. Yeah, this, is, this is cool. So, here with Jordan Mulligan, one seven of the Mulligan brothers. Yeah, that's a good yeah. Um, yeah, don't make very strong hair. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It is the next day. Um, today, yesterday, well, today's my birthday. Yesterday was a bit of a mixed one, so the interview didn't go that great. We've lost all internet at Mulligan River Studios. I don't know what the hell's happened. Um, Virgin are coming out to fix it today. We've got a technician on the way, but we lost all internet. It seemed to happen exactly when I needed to make the interview, so we got about five seconds of interview, but whatever, it is what it is. Dan Kane which was really cool, so that managed to sort of spark the day back up. So Dan came, um, we sp sp uh, spitballed some ideas about his podcast, that sounds really fun and interesting, and then also just spoke about the future of um, the Stogmans, Strongman, what we plan on doing in the Strongman space, and the fact that we ain't going anywhere, and uh, we're so excited to sort of be part of this journey, so that's really cool. He's given me some tips as well to make sure that I can get down to every world's event, so that was really good. But anyway, I woke up, I'm 29 years old now, it's my birthday, I think I'm 29, I'm either 28 or 29, I think I'm 29. Um, and William's been buying me food all morning, so that's been fun. Maybe you can follow along for the birthday and you can see what I'm getting up to today. We'll roll that now. So, um, William is keeping up the tradition and he just bought me donuts. Now I've just ate one, but now I've got a. I feel so stuffed already. So now I've got a. What? How much oil is on that? <laughs> I'll give you a bite in the review. I don't feel hungry with that. The best donuts by far. Luke made me an iced coffee. So what I've had so far Starbucks breakfast, sandwich, Starbucks frappe, two half browns. Big well top, like big donut. That donut. Luke bought me some chocolate, so I've had chocolate, um, like vegan Kinder Buenos, and um, whatever. Have you got more plans, Will? So yeah, we've got, he's got more plans, and then I've got a dinner later tonight as well. So all going very good, guys. It's a very good birthday. I just had a burrito. I tap out. Is this a new tradition? Yeah, it's a new tradition. Do you like the idea of this tradition? I would love that tradition. Yeah, so I, and, and to the to where you tap out. Why are you tapping out? I'm tapping out, I can't eat anything else. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Do me a massive favour. Go to Instagram and follow me on Instagram. And if you have followed me on Instagram, 
Comment down below and let me know that you've uh, followed me on Instagram and let me know what you want to see. What would you like to see on my Instagram? I'm still trying to put the content up. If you're feeling like it, go follow Will and please show Luke some love on Instagram because he's just got on Instagram. William's going to be posting a hell of a lot more, um, so he's worth following. And Luke's getting into the swing of it, so he's worth following. Um, go follow Dan Hipkiss if you want to see what he's getting up to with, the, with his new podcast he's going to be launching. As always, thanks for watching. Have a blessed and productive day. It's a nice day outside. I might go for a little stroll in a sec. Go inspire and change people. That's all we can do. For our actions, for what we do every single day, we're inspiring change. So let's go. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I'm a f exit draw. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now this feel like no one understands me.